Hi, my name is Patrick, and today uh, you're going to learn how to replace a processor. This is a Centrino Intel processor. So now, the first thing you want to do is see where your processor is. Principally, it will be under this fan, because uh, you need a fan to cool it down, otherwise it's just going to fry up. So now, you should have little wires here, these, and this is what connects your fan to your motherboard and makes it work. Now you want to go very gently and unplug these. Don't pull on the wire, pull on the adapter on this thing, not on these. Because they could disconnect themselves from this. And you don't want that to happen. Now, on different models you have different ways, but this one, it's like two little levers here. You want to put them up. There you go, it will release pressure. And then you push down and you lift these little things up. Some will just, you'll have to push down and then put it out. That's in another video you can look up. Now you want to push down there. You see those? Have to be pushed down. Then you have your fan right here. Now you want this to come out. Now here's your processor. Now this is the most fragile part of your whole computer. Because you have little prongs on it. These little things. Uh, this one is a bent one. It, it won't work uh, because these little things are broken. So you need to be extremely careful when you use this. Now, to put it off, you should have a little lever on the side here. You just push that and lift it up very gently. And then you just take your processor and there you go. Now, this is uh, an Intel processor. Like I said before, a Centrino 2.4 and now you have this little arrow there that means it goes in this spot because there's no holes and if you turn it on the other side you see there's no prongs so there you go you have the little arrow so these no case you should touch those now to put it back there you go usually you'll have paste, cooling paste to help cooling it just put that on top of here, just a little bit, not too much, don't exaggerate. And now you put this back on and follow every single other step I showed you before. So you put these back. This is the tricky part. It's to be very careful because you still got your processor under there. So there you go. Now put those. Now you need to be uh, Terrell, because if this is not connected, well, it's probably going to fry. So just connect it back and close up your computer, and there you go. A very important note on this, you need to be to have your computer totally disconnected from any power source. So unplug it, close it up, everything. And that's all.